right, everybody, it's day 19. It's time for another day drawing a card for the Civil Rights Movement Library of Congress, Congress Library of Congress Knowledge Deck. I'm going to take out the ones I've already drawn from, which I've flipped over. The 18 I've already done. Put them off to the side. Now it's almost beginning to feel like half because there's 48 in the deck, and so we've done 18. We're on day 19. Half would be 24, so we're five short of... 24 pretty cool anyways we're learning some things we're being some reminded of some things we knew of the civil rights movement things we might have learned in, in education uh, but we're also being reminded of some things so here we go shuffled it three times and we've got Mammy Till Mobley Chicago Mammy Till Mobley later sorry Chicago and Mammy Till Bradley, later Till Mobley, was 33 when her 14-year-old son Emmett was murdered in 1955 for mildly flirting with a white woman during a visit to the Mississippi Delta. When Till Mobley saw his disfigured body, she insisted that the whole world see what I had seen. Determined to expose the horrors of lynching in the South, she held an open casket funeral. The press picked up the story, broadcasting the trial of the two white men accused of the murder who were acquitted. Till Mobley could have been discouraged and bitter instead. She courageously transformed the tragedy of her son's death into a force for change, touring the country on behalf of the NAACP. In 1973, she trained the first of the Emmett Till Players, a youth performance group, and she directed the Emmett Till Foundation, providing scholarships to young people. So, uh, update, you know, since this is probably was put out, um, the woman who was assaulted... Uh, who's still alive now, I, I think, which is ironic, admits that um, Emmett wasn't the one that uh, flirted with her. It wasn't even a black person. So, you know, it was... <laughs> um, which is pretty sad, but, you know, the fact that she had an open casket and that the images of how beat up he was, this is what I do remember from, from learning about this in, I think, I believe high school, is that, you know... To see that shock and horror is a shock and horror, you know, it shocks people. And they say, like, sometimes that's the way movements really happen is to shock people into it. It's like, this is the shocking horrors and violence that you see, um, you know, similar to, you know, anytime I, I get really triggered whenever I see a lynching photo, you know. So um, Emmett Till's mother, this very controversial case, and, you know, Emmett's grave still gets... Uh, you know, and I think it's the historical marker still gets shot at and, and has bullet holes in it to this day. Um, so it's very sad what happened, but um, there has been some justice um, post, not necessarily justice because he's not alive anymore, but um, pretty pretty sad. But anyways, she, courageous woman to, to be able to do that and also to be able to make her contributions to NAACP, um, you know, instead of just... Um, taking what had happened and, and as it said become bitter and distraught um, so we thank you Mammy Till Br Bradley or Mammy Till Mobley we thank you um, for your service and that's day 19 of the Civil Rights Movement Knowledge Cards thank you I'm Sam from Power Media Network we'll see you next time day 20 stay blessed stay kind to one another peace <laughs>